Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is a tutorial on how to flash the 6600M into a regular 6600. So you get all the overclocking, voltage and fan sliders in MSI Afterburner and also in AMD Adrenaline. Um, before you do anything, it's best to make a copy of your original BIOS. So make sure you have GPU-Z and then go here and then say to file once you've done that you'll have your bios here next what you want to do is go to my description and there'll be a link to download all the flashing um, tools um, and also the file for the flash so just go to the link and then download the zipped uh, folder once you've done that i moved it from the downloads folder into my desktop so this is what it looks like and then what you want to do is extract it using a tool like winrar once you've done that you'll get the folder here and inside here is all the things you'll need for the flashing so what you want to do first is open up the instructions and have a read through before you start anything okay so this is where the fun begins <laughs> So we want to go in back to our folder and um, install um, the flash driver installer. So go back here and you'll just double tap here. And here you'll get this um, box and you just want to install it. So it says press I, so just type in I and it'll automatically install. And it says it's been installed successfully and then press any key and it'll close it. So that's step two done and then you want to open cmd as an administrator so just type in cmd and then you've got here one as administrator just press that we in the command prompt now which is cmd and then what you want to do is we want to locate our folder so this is our folder and um, this is the pathway this here which is basically that as an example. Um, so what you want to put in first CD, which is which means change directory space, go here, or wherever your um, file, you know, all your files are located. So mine's in the desktop as you can see. So just go to that folder and just copy it, copy and paste it. So copy and paste, and then paste that here. Let's get that back out again. And just press enter. Enter. So we're here now. You can see it's changed from um, system 32. Now we're in this folder. So we've done step four, and now we want to look at our current BIOS. So all you need to do here is copy this command without the brackets. Go back in here and press enter, and that will start in a few seconds, and it'll tell you your BIOS so this is our version okay and now this is where we actually put in our command to flash the new um, 600 um, BIOS before I do that I just want to show you there's in this file there's two versions so I went with the latest one and it worked fine you might have a different version so if this doesn't work then try this one um, so I've already flashed it but what you would do is you just copy that and obviously change the name if you're using the other one copy that and paste that and you'll press enter so i'm not going to do that because i've already done it um and then what it says is you'll wait until it um tells you to restart um and it's ready so once it's done restart it i had a problem where it didn't do it straight away so i had to redo the command and it worked the second time um so that's one thing just to note and obviously um, this is obviously something that is I don't guarantee it's not work so if you don't want to take the risk then don't do it and um, yeah I don't take any kind of responsibility if it goes wrong so yeah that's just a uh, precaution to, <laughs> to understand um, so once it's restarted what we want to do is then um, open up um, more power tools and this is a configuration that we need to do um, because sometimes there's issues where it's not stable um, and we'll open more power tools oh let's move this one away yes 
you find your your um, BIOS. So before it was 6600M, now it's the 6600. So open that. Let me just read this. Um, so it's what it's important you need to work on. This step must be followed once Skype is uninstalled and once PC is restarted. So we've done that. We open more power tools. Once open, cl click the load button. So press load. And then you'll choose one of these files. So just experiment which one is the best one. Um, I think I went with the latest one again. Um, this doesn't um, overwrite physically um, and it doesn't hold it. So if you need to go back and change it to a different one, it's, it's possible. Um, but yeah, just play around with it and see which one is the most stable. So what you'll do is just press that, open that, and then you'll um, write to SPPT. And once it's done, just restart it. And after that, everything is all good to go. And this is the bit where you just do your um, Fermark bench test, bench marks on um, different games and see which one's the most stable. And just play around with your, um, where is it? The tuning and things like that to make sure it's all where you want it to be, overclock it, underclock it, etc., etc. So as you can see here now, I have got all my um, settings to um, slide to different um, overclocking um, numbers. Um, I've got the voltage, um, what else is there, the fan. And yeah, generally this is a lot more stable than the 6600M. Um, the only thing I did note was um, the VRAM tuning isn't stable if i start playing around with it then it'll, this will go all the way, way back to 500 so um that's the only issue i had so i left it as 1750 um and that's it really if you guys have any questions then yeah let me know but yeah as you can see it's, it's being identified as a 6600 so yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to become a member to my channel, <laughs> then you go ahead and do that to support me. But yeah, it's not needed. And yeah, good luck. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.